So again, let's remember, soap films and soap bubbles try to make their area as small as possible. And here I've got a cubic shape with a handle, and I'm going to dip it into bubble mixture and pull it out, and I have a soap film. This hasn't got a bubble, it's just a soap film. And if you look at it, you can see in the middle that there is a square. It's just actually in the middle of moving over. And that's showing something really beautiful, because at the moment this square is facing straight towards the camera, but you can imagine there must be other solutions with exactly the same area with the square facing upwards or the square facing that way. So we should be able to go from one to the other by gently blowing on this. And you see there, it flipped over. Now it's flipping again. And now here, flipped around. And again, the idea of symmetry tells us that these different solutions must exist and we were able to go from one to the other. So that there just popped, but let's just do it again. And what I'm going to do now is pull this out. We've got a square here in the middle, and I'm going to trap some air by dipping it in a bit more. And I have a soap bubble here. I've got a second one that I don't really want. So now here we have a cubic shaped bubble. And this is solving the problem of how do you minimize the surface area of trapping this volume of air and being connected to all the edges of the cube. And you get this beautiful shape. So the soap film is solving a mathematical problem for us. And I think we can do a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking some of these connecting soap films to some of the edges. So it's got to solve a different problem. So let's break that one. Let's break this one. Let's break that one. And now let's break this one. And now we have got the soap film that is connected to all of the top and it has a bubble and if you look at this bubble you can see it's squashed flat so it's not completely round now if it were just trying to minimize the surface area of the bubble this would not be squashed flat it would be spherical but we're trying also to minimize this soap film and it did that by being more pancakely and squashed out a bit so let me just do that bit one more time again. So here we have a tiny bubble. I'll pop that, pop that, pop that, pop that. And here we have a little tiny squashed pancake bubble. And now if I break that, we should get a spherical bubble again. And we do. So minimization and symmetry, we can see all of that with these shapes.